I'm Michael. And I'm Dylan. From Concord, North Carolina. And we were Team Blue on season three of Relative Race. On season three, we re re we 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 on season three, we forgot our lines. You A forgot. Lot. Our lines. Great. Uh, do you guys need a selfie or something? Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. The world will not long remember what we say here, because I can't remember any lines whatsoever. See, that's solid right there. Whoa! Give him up. You have to give up the <laughs> shoes. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> On season three, we raced from Washington, D.C. to Raleigh, North Carolina, finding family we never knew we had. We had no phones, no technology, and we competed against three other teams in challenges to try and win $50,000. Yay! Yay! Good job. Life is good. I mean, I, I'm, I haven't been this happy. I haven't. I've gotten married since the show. And I, I, I have found a wonderful partner in my life, period. With my photography business, Fedora is my brand, and I've got 78 of them. So since the race, my work in photography has just exploded. It's, it's gone nothing but up. I, I'm getting in more work, more weddings, more NASCAR, more events, just in general. So photography's doing great for me. One of the things that's changed since the race is I ran for state house last year. I didn't win, I lost in the primary, but in our community, I wanted to do something good and I wanted to, to, to help our community in every way I can. I love this place so much. A few years ago now, I moved into my studio in downtown Concord. When I move into it, I find old negatives and pictures that date back to 1874 and there's over 40,000 of them. It's like a time capsule. And people around here love seeing these old pictures. I mean, people reminisce about it and they actually put old pictures in the local paper each week of stuff that I send them. And so with all these people from all over coming here, we've got to show them the history of our community. So we watched some of the show before we got on it, just to have an idea of what the show was all about. And it's completely different being on it. Absolutely. I got a cramp. Come on, you can do it. I got a cramp. Come on. Oh, my right. know it hurts. You wake up, you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know who you're gonna meet, and you don't know how you're gonna get there. And the challenges. Mm. I just don't know. Done. Mm. Over, over, done. I have no clue. I got, I got nothing, nothing, man. Getting into challenges, there's always that thought pr process that you grow of dread. My relatives obviously like hockey. Nope. Wow. Well, we don't. No. Struggling through some of these, you don't want to see the next one. There's no way I can do it. I don't do puzzles. It's like they cater to your worst fears and abilities. I don't want to be up. I don't want to be up. I don't want to. I don't want to. I like this spot. I like it. Look, he's terrified of heights. Terrified. Ow. That was awesome. After the show, it, uh, it really put in mind how grateful I am for what I have. And, uh, what he didn't get, what he gave me. It brought that thought to life that he could have been someone totally different. And I've got nothing but gratitude and appreciation for everyone who uh, had a hand in helping him get answers and uh, giving him something I couldn't. So you know how we are as photographers. We love visual stuff to remember stuff by and reminisce. And, you know, during our journey, we, we kept a lot of stuff and to, to always remember our journey by. It's like our, our little handbook here that Relative Race gave us from the little Instagram pictures that we took. And one of the biggest moments for me, this photo here, the photo of my biological mother that my sister gave me, is the first time that I saw my mother's face ever in my life. I want to be on this race to 
find my biological family. I was adopted at birth. My adoptive father died when I was nine. My adoptive mother died when I was 12. She told no one where I came from. So when you look at this photo now, what do you feel? It just, it just takes me back to the moment when my sister showed this to me. And up to that point in my life, not knowing anything or knowing what she looked like or nothing. And to actually have something, just having that moment where it became real. She became real. So meeting my mother, it, 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 it kind of like completed the circle in my life that was broken when I was 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. Hi, I'm Michael. Michael. I'm your mother. Oh, <laughs> 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 You know, a life's worth of emotions came to a point, you know, at one moment. You can't script it. It's real. That, that, was, that was so real. Uh, and that's something I'll never forget. One of the big questions I get a lot is my dad's health. You know, is he still, is he alive? Is he still, I mean, what's happened to him? Because everybody was kind of like left there, like, oh gosh, he's getting ready to die. You got to meet him right now. Hello, son. I'm Wayne. I'm her dad. So one of the surprises after the show is uh, my dad's still here. Um, and in fact, we've been able to visit him. When I met my father, it was a moment that, I mean, it's just, I can't, there's no words that can describe to you what I was going through. It, it, it just, it, it, it meant the world to me to finally meet this person face to face. Somebody that helped create you, create and have answers and, and have that sense of being human, being real, being a person, a whole person, I mean, actually sitting down with them. Getting that closure and completing the completion feel, it, it, it moving forward, it, it's helped me know who I am. One of the people that I've had the, the closest relationship with since the show is probably my sister, cousins from Charlotte, uh, Raleigh. Um, it, they're really good people. We hit it off well, uh, enjoyed each other's company. Yeah, it's just been such a positive in my life. The show gave me answers to questions I've wondered since I was a child. It's, it's made me a more positive person. My outlook on life has changed. It's refocused on what's important to me. I'm totally fine with how everything transpired and how my life has turned out. I've been so blessed. If it was possible, would we do relative racing again? Absolutely, in a heartbeat. I am forever indebted to Dan on down. Every person that has ever worked, I'm indebted to them my whole life. I'd recommend it to anybody that's looking for answers or anybody that just wants to find family. Because this show is all about family. If it's important to you, absolutely I recommend it, period. There's nothing like this experience, nothing like this experience. I promise you.